Man, let me tell you, if you guys honestly thought that Anime War was crazy, then we're going to be raising all different types of hell on today's video, as I want to welcome you all back once again to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 Mods. This is Team Archon versus Team Adult Zeno, Master Media's Anime Ward. Let's not waste any more time. My team leader is going to be none other than Adult Zeno, in which I will say... Out of all of the fan creations in this community, Adult Zeno looks pretty cool, and I'm actually really pissed that he didn't have the be-all, end-all victory over Archon, but we're going to talk about that as we progress. So, let's not waste any more time, guys. It is December. Look at this. We have Omni King Goku, dude. Hell yeah. That's like Zeno and Goku fused into one, right? Now, where is the ultimate killer? There he is. All right, so we have Omni Gogeta. Now, this is a little different because... It's not really the accurate representation of what Gogeta was in Mass Star's depiction of Anime War, but even though this is close, that'll have to do for now. So, in the meantime, we have a whole bunch of villains here that I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and play up against right now, but I wanna see who else I can use. I wanna use maybe Midoriya for this one, maybe All Might. Oh, we have, we have Ryuk from Death Note. I mean, what, what's, what's he really gonna do, right? Uh, but either way, guys, if, of course, you guys are new to this channel, then I do encourage you guys to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys do hopefully want to see the continuation of Anime War in the future because how awesome would that be if, if, if they were to actually do that? But the one thing that I really wanted to see was the Grand Priest get involved. Like, that would have been so cool. So Archon is going to be the enemy. And on top of that, I want to go on ahead and go back to choose some of Mass Star Media's uh, villains here, like Zorama and stuff like that. So, 2020 is over, and so is Anime War, right? But, as you guys may have noticed on my channel, I've been continuing Anime War through the form of a manga. And what's really cool about that, I would say, is the fact that I think manga, manga form offers a whole lot of like experience that's different than the actual animated stuff that Master used to do. Even though Master said that he's finished and he's doing other things, and that's cool and all because he's no longer doing uh, Anime War like he used to. And even though Anime War was cool for what it was, oh my Christ, is that Exodia? Oh hell yeah, we're gonna fight Exodia, dude. The Omni King versus Exodia. The question is, where are we gonna fight? I wanna fight somewhere nice. The city of GT? Probably not. Oh, what's this? The city of the future. Hell yeah. So, the thing about Omni Zeno, in which I will say again, his overall form looks pretty cool. Like, you get to see basically the multiverse within him, right? It's, it's the Omni King Evolved. And I will say, for what it's worth, I think the Omni King should have completely wrecked Archon, but who knows? Who knows what the future holds for not only Anime War, but I think that this is an interesting take on fan creations because, again, Mass Star Media created this uh, just as a form of fan fiction, right? And I've seen many people in the community create their own versions of not just Anime War, but fan mangas, fan animations, and this is why the community grows into its own because everyone has their own style, everyone has something different to offer, and hopefully going into 2021, we're going to see more fan mangas, more fan animations. Jesus Christ, Archon is like, I, I think he's pretty strong in this game. I forgot how strong he was, but also at the same time, I forgot how strong uh, Zeno's adult form is too. Now, he here's my little rant, right? I I and I told Master this personally, so they should have had it. I mean, Master should have had it to where the Omni King should have been the one to completely destroy Archon. That was like one of my biggest pet peeves because if the Omni King were to evolve, right, theoretically... And if he were to have basically limitless slash infinite power, then wouldn't it only be fair for the Omni King to completely obliterate this person, dark siphoning or not, increased in power or not, ultra instinct or not? You know, I, I, I solely stand with the idea that the Omni King should have been the one to completely end Archon by the end of Anime War. Now... That turned out a little different, as of course you guys may have seen, but in the future, right, let's say for example, if you were to want to see a fan manga involving Zeno, or any other, you know, creation, such as what you guys see in Anime War, what would you guys like the narrative to be? Because I want to see more of an evolved slash serious Zeno, like that really gave me, uh, I think hope to see a serious Zeno actually take his job once serious. And what I really enjoyed about Anime War was the fact that once Zeno arrived, he meant business. Like, he, he knew right off the gate what he was getting himself into, and even his guards 
from the get-go, the way they fought Archon was pretty solid. Um, I just really hope that in the future, we do get to see more of, you know, adult Zeno if people want to add him into a fan fiction because I've seen several people actually create uh, fan stories involving Zeno's evolved form. For example, there was a manga, I think that was put out a year ago, that had Beerus versus the Omni King, right? If you guys remember that one. And that story in and of itself featured an ever so evolving Omni King. And this dude was destroying Beerus, right? And he was destroying him in the, like, taking the form of, like, this crocodile monster. So that was pretty cool to, to see, actually. Oh, damn. He got me. Damn you, Archon! Anime War. Yeah, this, this is more like Anime War episode, like, freaking 20. The battle to determine the fate of the entire you know, complexity of the multiverse right here, but either way, um, I definitely feel like there, there should be alternate cuts to Anime War, um, even though I know Mastar always complains about the, the length of the animation and stuff like that, I just feel like there should be like a what if, right, like what if, what if we didn't get to see Omni Gogeta, what if we actually saw Omni Vegito instead, or something like that, right, and um, this is gonna be interesting, oh yeah, d damn, you know what, I'm gonna swap out, I'm gonna swap out for Omni King Goku, yes, Omni Goku, who I think that would have been a cool concept because what Anime War is, it's it's something completely freaking fictional, right? It's something that really shouldn't be taken serious and people want to, you know, gravitate towards that and being like, oh man, this, that, and the third. Oh, I love the UI. I love the UI animation right here. Damn, Zorama just got freaking cucked. Not even close. But I just think that going into 2021, this is just a small example of, I think, something that fans need to do. And what I mean by that is fans need to start creating their own stories, their own fan animations. For example, there are several fan animations out there that really have a good narrative, that have fantastic animations, fantastic battles. And I feel as if everybody that has, or, you know, at least has somewhat of a platform, deserves to have their work be recognized. So we've been doing a great job in exposing these people to give them some shine because I think that a lot of animators do deserve their due credit, especially if they're honest with their work. So I've seen lots of people, if you guys remember, um, the evil the evil angel, the dark angel versus Bogeta, that was pretty freaking insane. So, I mean, we, we've seen so much, even, even from, from Dragon Ball Deliverance and stuff like that, but being the fact that it's 2020, uh, 2020, the year 2021 is approaching, what are some things that you guys want to see from the fan fiction fandom in uh, 2021? Do you guys want to see more animations? Do you guys want to see more fan mangas? Let me know in the comment section below because everyone has a different preference as to what they want. For me, I, I would definitely say go with manga style, you know, kind of content first and then adapt that through the form of animation. I think that that would ultimately work. But uh, it's really all subjective. It really all depends on how you want to look at it, right? Because some people just want to see animation and no manga at all, while others actually differ. They want to see manga and animation. So whatever it is you guys want to see, I mean, just let me know in the comment section below. And also, guys, if there's anything you guys want me to create from Anime War in the form of a manga, then I do encourage you guys to drop your thoughts in the comment section below as to what, and I'll try my very best to do that for you guys. Is he switching out? Oh, crap. Okay, so it's Evil Omni Goku, right? The evil version of Goku, which was supposed to be Goku Black. I remember why Mastar did it, but it was just so tacky to see him just like, just, I don't know, white Goku, whatever the hell it was. Super Saiyan white at the time, you know? But let me see. Let me see if I can actually swap out here. Who am I going to swap out for? Oh, there he is. Gogeta. -da. Oh, yeah, he's finished. Okay, so obviously, I remember too. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, they actually, Master actually did Gogeta versus Black Goku or Dark Goku, whatever it is that he called it in his series. Um, which, if you guys remember, he went as far as to use, I think it was Kaioken times 100 or something like that. I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. It was so long ago, but that's that's a concept that I think a lot of people were talking about in the fandom for such a long time. Oh, you know, what if we saw Gogeta use Kaioken times 1000, or what if we saw Super Saiyan Blue Evolution 3 or something like that? You know, fans have a really weird way of expressing, like, what they want to see, but you can't really fault anybody for wanting to see something different, something unique. Even though it is wacky, it is what it is. But going into 2021, I'm definitely planning on doing something involving the Omni characters. I think that you guys have seen that on my channel thus far. And uh, I want to see what we can bring here. Oh, I, I need to finish this dude off. You are done. 
Yeet! As, so as soon as I fire this, bro, it's... Oh, it's done! Oh, wait, how, first of all, how is this dude alive? Like, I mean, I have to... Ah, damn it. You know what? I'm gonna have to use our boy, Jiting. I'm gonna have to call forth one of the strongest. See, this was something that really kind of irritated me, I think, in Anime War, and that was the fact that we didn't get to see much from Jiren, we didn't get to see much from Broly, stuff like that. Like, that really... That really sucked, I would say, because there was so much potential there for for those characters to be thrown in. And last year, I did a fan manga of Anime War where basically the uh, the dimensional time warps were opened up, like the the space time continuum, and we had all different kinds of characters come through. You had Jiren, you had Broly, you had Golden Frieza, you had Kefla. You had some pretty like powerful ass characters step in and they assisted everyone in fighting Archon, but here, in the conclusion of Anime War, it was it was done a tad bit different, so... Let me finish this dude off. Because this version of Omni Goku is really pissing me off, but again, I, I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday season, a fantastic Christmas, fantastic New Year's, of course, I mean, the growth on the, ch on the channel has been amazingly supportive, and I have to thank all of you guys for that, because without you, I mean, I really wouldn't be do- I, I, w I would not be doing this at all. Because, and the thing about Tenkaichi, right, this game is so fun, it doesn't matter how old it is, like, there's still, there's still replayable value for this game. So you can always go back and do so much more because there's so much more to offer. I forgot this dude's name. I remember when Mastar first made him, I was like, dude, really? Like, you're just making an evil Janemba, or at least like a, like a, like a dark version of Janemba, or whatever the hell it was? But, I mean, at the end, I didn't really mind it only because they all fused into this one mega creature and I was like all right well this is this is an interesting take because I mean these dudes weren't dying blue gohan fought him all that you know you had god piccolo fight him he wasn't dying so I was like all right well what's it going to take for these dudes to die especially if like some of the strongest fighters that we have aren't really like shelling in or just doing much to stop them oh look at this how awesome would this have been dude having jiren a part of anime war would have been the best because jiren would have soloed everybody like, I mean, even though they would have siphoned off his energy and blah blah blah, it still would have been so cool to see. Oh, uh, let me see here. Damn, Jiren is putting on a clinic. Yo, what a way to close off 2020. And, and the thing was, too, like, we actually started the year off with a bang, too. Like, I, the only thing I'm waiting for for some of these games are, like, mods of Murno, you know, mods of, like, other specific characters. I'm still waiting to see Raikon in Tenkaichi 3. Because we had him in Tenkaichi 3 before, but, like, I don't, I don't even know what happened. Like, they just decided, like, not to include him, but include, like, Zycor. Oh, my God. That's a humanoid Exodia, bro. That is so clean. He looks like a midget, though. It's kind of weird. All right, so I'm going to have... I'm going to have the uh, the uh, Grand Priest finish you off. And, and, and the thing is with Exodia, too, like... You know, like, I, I think it's pretty cool to see, like, certain characters make a cameo, but... You know, it is what it is. I mean, Master should have done more. Damn! Did you guys just see that? Yo, Exodia just did damage, dude! Exodia just did some heavy damage. Hold, hold the horses. Hold your horses there, Lottie. Let me finish this dude off. Hold on. You son of a bitch. This is what I think should have happened. Not necessarily with the Priest and Exodia, but the Grand Priest, even though he was holding the multiverse together and whatever the hell the, the case may have been, I still think that the Grand Priest should have been more or less involved in that final fight. You, you, like, you guys get what I'm saying? Like, play, like, throwing hands with Archon. That would have been so cool. Prior to, I think, the Omni King having an adult form. I think that would have been clean. I think that would have been dope. Let me swap out here. Oh, there he is. There he is. The be-all, end-all. And, and the thing is, like, if there's any character from Anime uh, anime War that I really like a lot, it's Zeno's adult form. Zeno's adult form is really, really, really cool. Like, some people may look at that and go, oh, it, it looks so stupid. Nah, like, Zeno's, Zeno's adult, uh, adult form looks really really cool what the hell is this oh i remember this attack yo this attack literally destroys everything in sight so if exodia wants smoke you about to get smoke homeboy look at this i'm just gonna i'm just gonna beat the crap out of him from behind just never ending hits and the thing was too what, what was cool is the fact that um the omni king actually had ultra instinct right or at least adult omni king had ultra instinct and that was something that i was like wait what Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he got me. He got me. All right, if I don't if I don't finish this dude off quick, then oh, he got me again. All right. Time for me to unleash my Oh, crap, 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 crap. 
Yeah, th oh yeah, he's gonna finish me off. Hold on. I'm gonna have to put Exodia in his place. There we go. Off with Exodia's head. Who is last? It's Zarama. Okay. Alright, now, now the thing is, Zarama... Zarama's interesting. I mean, I, I would have liked to have seen more from Zarama, right? I think that they should have done, like, a, a momentary fusion battle with him. And what I mean by that is, have Zarama fight, like, Evolution Blue Vegito, or, like, whatever the case may be, right? Uh, just do something different, per se. Aw, oh, crap. Revenge Death. Whoa. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, good, good. We, we, we survived. Hold on. Now, can you survive? Oh, we got him! Game, set, match, dude. They should have done more with him. But either way, that was the Anime War game. Dude, this was so clean. This was so clean only because someone out there actually turned Anime War into a modded game for Tenkaichi. So much respect goes out to the people that, that actually made this. So again, thank you all so much for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to go on ahead and slap a big fat like down below. Tune back in for the next video. And I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Take it easy, guys. Peace.